So many people feel like they need to adjust their tensions on their serger. But on the Brother 1034D, let me show you a few tricks about tension. Number one, if anybody comes and adjusts your tensions, start by putting it all back to the default setting of four. That way, when you surge, you will see that everything should be fairly balanced. Now I say balanced because if you're using the same threads in the serger and quality threads that will make a difference, then everything should be fairly equal. So if, you, if I turn it just a little up or down, you'll start to see the difference. But let's start at the beginning. What are we looking for? So first off, you do notice that your two, uh, first two threads, the yellow and the pink here, are straight stitches. So straight stitches look like little dots on the back and straight stitches like a sewing machine on the front. Then the upper looper is my lime green kind of going back and forth here. My lower looper is the blue going back and forth on the back here and they meet along the edge. So let's talk about the loopers and I'm going to adjust them and you'll see what's going to happen. So if I go up a couple numbers on the blue, the blue is now going to be stronger. It's going to pull my top thread over the edge. So let's just go ahead and do a quick little run on that. So right now you don't see any blue edge like you did before and I see green on the back side. Is there anything wrong with this stitch? Actually, not really. Still holds the seam together, everything looks okay. It's just it's not balanced, it's not perfect. So by putting it back to four, I have corrected that back to that nice balance along the edge look that we're used to seeing. Now when those threads are all one color, like all white threads, you're going to have to look a little closer than just looking for the colors on the fabric. So that's why you doing your test samples in some of the matching colors to the tension dials is not a bad idea. So that's why I always recommend uh, doing some of these things with different colors and then you'll see what you're actually changing. So vice versa, if I take that same tension and go looser, what's gonna happen? Well, now this one's the tighter one. So it's gonna probably pull a little bit of the back threads to the front. And again, anything wrong with it just doesn't look as smooth or balanced like it used to. So that's one thing to do. Now, if you are finding that you're adjusting something and nothing is changing, you might go back and double check the paths of your thread. When thread gets wrapped around an, a guide extra or misses a guide, that's also when you'll start to see some tensions not looking as balanced. So always double check the threading of the serger. And when I'm totally become frustrated with what my setting should be, I always tell my students, don't be afraid, cut all your threads and re-thread it from scratch. It usually fixes everything. And as we saw in the threading video, it's not that hard. I've also seen where sometimes people will get their threads in the groove here, but they go beside the tension disc and so it's not even in it. And that way then you really don't have anything going on with it at all. Let's do one other thing. Let's turn the needle tension all the way down to, let's go to zero. And let me show you what you're gonna get. Now, not that you're gonna send it to zero, but sometimes when people thread the sergers, they don't get the thread all the way deep enough into the tension discs. And here's what you're gonna notice. It's gonna look fine on the front, but on the back, you're starting to see where that you don't have that nice straight line like we did before. Might be a little hard to see, but it's just yellow. And when we open it up, now we see lots of those stitches showing through when we pull. Well, that's the start of a flat lock, but usually not what you want when you're trying to seam everything together. So just watch that if it seems really loose, that maybe your thread didn't get all the way down into the tension disc. So give it a little floss or re-thread it. Um, sometimes I've been known to just take it out and then like reconnect it back in there. Remember you have the little tension release levers here where you can kind of open that up and make sure it gets in. And then go ahead and just stitch one more time. Make sure things are getting back to normal. And when you flip it over, you're always looking for that nice straight line on the backside for perfect tension.